Hello and welcome to another video by the Ministry of Miniatures and today we have got a very special battle report. We are doing the Bridge at Rostov which is a battle from the new Case Blue book. We've been very fortunate, uh, Warlord Games have sent us the scenario, they're going to send us the book as well but um, this is um, basically the battlefield we have for today so stand by and I'm going to tell you all about it. So today's scenario takes us to Russia, July 1942, and this is the scenario from the Case Blue book, The Bridge at Rostov. So we're going to alternate, we're going to alter it slightly just because it's um, in the book as a doubles game and we are just playing uh, one versus one today. So the idea is that the main panzer force has slogged their way through the layers of Soviet strong points and a combined force of reconnaissance panzer grenadiers and Brandenburg commandos have been sent ahead to secure the vital bridges over the uh, River Don. So as you can see here, we've got the two bridges, one here which leads into the industrial zone uh, and one here which is a railway um, crossing. Um, so the whole area passes through the southern section of Rostov, which you can see here is in complete ruins from the fighting that's been going on. Um, but what has happened is under the cover of darkness, a small group of Brandenburgers and reconnaissance infantry have crossed the river in inflatable boats and are preparing to seize the bridges before the Soviet's reinforcement can destroy them. So this is gonna be uh, two forces, a slightly larger German force, whose objective is to come on from their deployment zones along here and to take the two bridges while the Soviets who are deployed from this corner here will have a slightly smaller force, but they will try to stop the Germans and hold them back. So who's gonna win for the Battle of Bridges at Rostov? Okay, so just to run through the board, that was the scenario, now to run through the board. Uh, there's a road which leads over to the first bridge across the river. Um, and as you can see, there's a road which leads into the city. There's lots of rubble everywhere. We're not gonna be playing any of the rubble rules unless they're actually the created ones from the buildings here. Uh, the roads will be in play just to try and speed it up a bit, but as you can see, there's lots of hard cover uh, from all of the ruins all across Rostov. And then we've got an industrial building here, which will um, be played as building rules, but also we'll divide it into three segments. So actually, if you wanted to put a larger force in there, you can do just because of its size. Um, and there you go, there's walls protecting um, the river. The river is impassable apart from the two points. So where the railway crossing is on the far side and closer up here where the main bridge is into Rostov. So there we go, that's the battlefield. Uh, lots to play for and let's have a look at the forces. Okay, so first up are the German army. It's slightly larger in points than the, the Soviets because it's got a little bit of work to do, but we have two platoons. So I'm gonna hand over to Michael and he's gonna talk us through the two different platoons. Up first is this one. First of all, for the accountants in, amongst you um, um, having a day off, um, the points are a bit fudge, but they're very close. Um, the first one is, um, this is a regular um, here platoon. And then we have a, um, veteran um, Czech T38, what, what, what T38, T38, something or other. Then we've got a um, regular um, first, sorry, second lieutenant and extra man. And then here we've got Brandenburgers. First of all, is a complete squad with one LMG, um, seven SMGs. And if we look carefully, you've got a, what appears to be a Soviet commissar um, with an with a um, knight's cross around his neck, neck, and also a suspiciously Nazi haircut. So, <laughs> so nice little giveaway there. But no little moustache, so we're quite fine there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and th th um, so this unit is disguised as are the as is the associated um, flamethrower team here. That's also running as a veteran. This um, is a captured Soviet truck, which is going to run at regular because we can't go higher than that. The All second right. platoon. Um, and this is led by our Patreon Grey Wolf. Here we go. We've got a um, second lieutenant, an extra man here, run, running at regular. <clears throat> Two regular Hannah Mags. One um, veteran um, here, units here, with one LMG and an SMG. 
then we have a Panzer Grenadier Stalingrad unit here with two LMGs um, and four and three SMGs here. Um, we also have a veteran, I think it's SDKFZ SD two 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 scout car, um, and then a veteran Panzer three. Um, this is the one that's got the um, better rear armor and the rules, etc. And then we have a regular here um, medium machine gun team. So there you go. Thank you for that. So that is the German army and we'll show you the deployment, but their objective is to clear the city of Soviets and to take the bridges. So let's have a look at the Soviets. Okay, starting off with Soviet, we, we have two platoons. First is um, for our sponsor bear here. Um, that's our Soviet commander of the first, first team. He's going to be a um, second lieutenant running at regular with an extra man here. We've got three trucks here running at regular. Um, I think it's a BT-7, um, which is going to be running at regular. Then we've got two regular squads of, um, of SMG squads and a regular flamethrower team. But all these guys, um, we paid the points basically to make them um, um, fanatics. fanatics, that's it. And um, so that's one squad. You know, it does recommend you use um, NKVD. Mine are still on the painting table. So when we revisit this game, uh, we'll be doing NKVD next time. But here we do have NKVD because we've got a, it's an NKVD officer with green cap. So he's one of the border patrol elements of the NKVD. Then we have a commissar here um, who's reading out a, t taking notes from a book and um, he's got, got one extra man here. But, so, another, but really to top it off, I'm, I love this because I'm, I'm influenced by Enemy at the Gates um, with their M MMG squad. They're made up of NKVD troopers and you can, you can, you can see them there. Interestingly, one's got a um, blue um, padded quilt jacket, which is something the NKVD actually has. Um, and they're leading a group of, all, sorry, all these guys here are um, fanatics. And then these guys here all are all, um, which are um, strafe bats, um, are all going to be um, um, shirkers, that's it. So, um, very good, so that's your Soviet force and it's gonna be two different platoons. So what we'll do is we'll go through the deployment areas and then we'll get the game underway. Okay, so quickly to go through the deployments, the uh, first Soviet Rostov uh, NKVD motorized deployment will be deployed here. So this is essentially the reinforcements that can come in to um, help with Michael's Soviets. So it's pretty much the area in the camera now is their deployment zone. So it's sort of a two foot uh, square uh, on that side. And then the next deployment area is essentially kind of this bit here. So it goes up to this building line here, up into here, across here. So it's kind of a two foot square again here. And this is where the first of the Soviets can start from. Uh, with the Germans, the Brandenburgers essentially go from the river line uh, here for a two foot square. So they can come essentially to the center where this building is here. They can deploy in, in that area. And then the German uh, motorized unit can come on two foot from the bordage on that side. So lots to play for. Um, it's gonna be quite a tough game. The Germans have got to secure the bridges, three points each, or then it's one point uh, per kill as a victory. So let's get underway. The turns will last for six turns, then it will potentially go to a seventh, but let's see who wins. Will it be a German success or will the motherland of the Soviets prevail? Okay, turn one, let's start, and it'll be part of the deployment to move on as part of turn one. Okay, so we're just gonna start with deployment. So the first dice out of the bag is gonna be Michael, and we're not gonna worry about rolling to come on. So um, you had Soviet dice, didn't you? So what do you wanna bring on first? <laughs> um, I think. Okay, so first dice, and Michael's deploying his medium machine gun. Um, 
looking across the centre of the table. Okay, first dice out for the Germans, and I'm going to put the Brandenburgers down. Okay, so Soviets, what are you going to do? I think we're going to put one of the squabbling bunch of... There you go, back. so that's the Strauss back deployed in their deployment zone in the ruins. Black Germans. Lens. Okay, my flamethrower on my Brandenburgers is going down inside the truck. Black again? Black again, okay. Let's see what I'm going to do. So uh, I've just deployed a medium machine gun within my two foot deployment zone on here. Looking across at Michael, but because of deployment, we can't shoot. So next dice, Soviet. It's quite even Steven so far, isn't it? One of each. Yes, it'd be... Uh... So where are you going to put these troops? I think... There you go, so the second Struff bat. Looks like you've gone either side. So he's deployed his second unit across from the road by the bridge, waiting for the Germans. Oh, and it's Black a German dice German. next. So let's have a look. What am I going to do? Um, let's work this out. Okay, first off, I'm just running Grey Wolf up across here. So he's now in position, ready to look down the road. Next dice. Next dice is red. I think we get the Commissar here. Um, <coughs> we'll probably just start this Commissar team off here. So he's close to the two straw fat units. Yeah, good. Dice after that, he's going to be red again. And I'm going to use the um, NKV, the officer team here. Yep. And I'm going to stick those guys. Actually, I might just stick them in that building there. I really need to be in six with you, with both those units actually. So I'm just going to not get them too close, but I really don't want to. But you yeah. can just deploy them somewhere and then move them afterwards, can't you? Yes, okay, I might put them here. Actually, there's a, cons I don't want to be getting gunned down by that machine gun though, that's the only thing. Um, actually, if I put them in here, and put the officer close to the, there we go. Okay, next dice is black. Okay, so I've just positioned my squad right on the edge of their deployment zone, right next to the bridge, so hopefully they can move forward. Um, but yeah, let's see who's next. Is going to be. There you go, so I've just brought the officer around with that um, platoon just to support those troops there. Next dice. Black. Ah, okay. okay, I'm just going to put these troops down in the half track. This Okay, Soviets. Are in the truck. Yeah, they're going down. That's it, and then black. My other squad with the <clears throat> half track are going down. We're going to do a bit of a down dance now, aren't we? Black. No, we're not. I've got to do something. Okay, so I've just brought the Ban Brandenburger um, truck on, and he is going to move along the road right up to here. And that's his advance move. He's got two squads in there. Okay, next one is black again. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to bring my tank in again, right on the edge of its border, where it can come on. In fact, I'm going to probably put it here in the rubble. We can drive through that. Um, but I do get to take a shot. So I'm going to shoot at your medium machine gun, I think. So I'm going to go with both machine guns. So There's going to be movement, hardcover. So movement four, hardcover sixes. Six. Okay, so two machine guns. That's needing sixes, so 12 dice. Nothing. Well, that's its virgin shot. Yep. Next bass, please. Okay, next one it says that yeah, it's red. Um, and I'm going to put this team in here. Yep. Next dice off that is black. There we go. I haven't got much left. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to bring my half track in the uh, with the auto cannon. So, again, I want to try and dominate the field. So, I'm going to have a shot at your medium machine gun with the auto cannon. So it's going to be movement and hard cover. Okay, so two shots needing sixes. No. Whew. Okay, I'm going to bring this half track in. It's just going to drive up to here. Okay. So 
that's just made its way up through the alleyway. And I'm gonna take a pop shot with the medium machine gun at your troops. Your rubbishy ones. So I can just see them across there. But they're gonna have hard cover, so it's movement four, hard cover. Okay, so I've got six shots, movement four, long range five, hard cover sevens. One possible. Nope. So Michael's bringing his tank on. Okay. So if you bring him on the road, you get double movement thing. Yes. You can go 18 if you wanted to. I just want to leave him in cover if I can, but uh -huh. actually don't know how fast I want to get up there. Um, so that's, so, so I'm tempted just to literally keep him in. Um, how can I keep it? Well, you'll have the, the, the bridge will give cover if you're behind it, won't it? Because... Okay, if I go... Just know it's a Soviet tank that's going to get taken out and die really quick. Um, actually, can I start him literally there? Yep. And just leave him there. I'm, I'm yep. going to shoot, shoot at the. Um, if I just turn it slightly, this I don't think that, there's no hull machine gun in there, is there? So actually, yeah, I just I'm just going to have to fire the gun basically. Okay, so you're going to have movement for possibly long range, hard cover. So it might be sixes or sevens, depending on the range. So let's measure and have a look, and then Michael's going to take a shot at the auto. Okay, so Michael's going to take a shot of his main gun. It's a light anti-tank gun, so it's got movement, long range, hard cover. So you're going to use sevens with one dice. No. no. <laughs> okay. But worth a shot. Next dice. Red. Yeah, I'm going to put these, the flamethrower guys in this one here, I think. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, and then next one is blue, black. Okay. Okay, so I've just brought the second half track in next to the other one, so I've got two units here, um, and I'm gonna fire at his Strathbat unit over there. So it's gonna be movement four, long range five, hard cover sevens with the medium machine gun. Okay, yeah, nothing, I haven't hit. So next dice. I think I've only got one left, haven't I? <laughs> Pierce, so yeah. Oh, fine. So that is my tank. So where am I going to bring? Okay, it on? so I'm going to bring my tank in right on the edge of my zone here, and I'm just going to move up so that I'm there, roughly. And I'm going to take a shot at your tank. So I'm hoping to get side on. I don't think it's got cover, so it's going to be movement four, long range five. But we'll measure the range and see. Okay, so I've just measured it. It's 20 odd inches, so it's easily within half range. So I'm going to have one shot onto its side, but it's going to be movement, so it's just a four. Yay, so I get a four. Um, we just need to check the side armor of your tank and my armor piercing capability, and let's see what I need. Okay, so Michael's tank is armor eight on the side, it's seven. I've got medium anti tank gun, which means it's plus five. So a two with glance, and a three with pen. And I get a two, so that's a glance. Let's work out what it's going to be. Two. So that is going to be immobilized. So you need to put an additional pin marker on and the vehicle cannot move for the rest of the game. Not that I think you wanted to do that. It has, it has blocked if a it, major road though. <laughs> yeah, and if it's, if it's further immobilized, it is basically knocked out. And you need to roll for turret jam. Okay. Before you move the turret. Okay, oh, okay. So, so, so actually if I roll, roll turret Okay, jam. roll for your turret jam then. So one, two, three, nothing happens. Four, five, Four, six. six. Oh, nothing happens, oh, no, it's, good. it's fine. Oh. So you've got two pins and you're immobilized. But I've still got the medium machine gun on the hull, which I'm going to fire at your troops again to see if I can get them. So that's going to be six shots, movement. Uh, I need to check if there's long range because that made the difference. So can you just check between the machine gun and your troops, your strafe bat? Oh yeah, look at that, so that's within 18. So it's gonna be movement four, hard cover sixes. So six shots, needing sixes. One, that's at least a pin, and they're dead. 
Okay, one dead, that. one pin. Okay, so four dice left, they're all yours. So you pretty much got the bow there and the three trucks to move, haven't you? Okay, because um, that squad's in there, that squad's in there. Um, flame throws in here. Um, yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? It's not where you're going to put your trucks. I block the road. Yeah. Um, because it would have been quite nice to get the SMG guys down there. Um, it might be that I move forward this way. I well, think. you might have to bring your trucks on and then next, next turn decants. Because your truck can't get past there, but the infantry can, can't they? That's it. So, um, yeah, it's not looking as good as I thought it would be, but uh, I think, um, ooh, yeah, it's... And now I'm sort of, I've only got one decent anti-tank thing going, so... Well, you've still got the anti-tank on here, it just can't move. Yeah, um, needs the turret still going. There we go. All I do is I just run it 12 to here. Yeah, just advancing, good. And then the second one... Can he um, can he jump out here if he hasn't? Can he start and then jump yeah. out? Um, okay, so I think I start that there and probably move it up like that. Um, actually, yeah, he's got he's got one. And then Bear's going to jump out, is he? Or is he going to stay? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, then I think Bear's going to jump out and he's going to um, go to the building, to the window or something. So parked in front of the doors. So, and so I can just sort of charge him in here. I think. Yep. Still try and keep Bear within six-ish of one of them. There we go. And um, there we go. Then the other truck's gonna just. I think I'm just gonna start it here in semi in cover. As close as cover as possible, and that's got it. Got, got one squad in it, and um, these guys are down. Yeah, so they're all down in it. So that ends turn one then, because that's all your dice, isn't it? So all your that's troops it. are down in the trucks. So as you can see, not really much has happened. We've all deployed. I've made a push forward with my Brandenburgers. Um, let's see what happens in turn two. Okay, turn two. Let's see who's going to get the first dice out of the bag. Here we go. It is. Black. Yes, yeah, so let's see what we're going to do. I am going to fire with my tank. No! <laughs> yes. <coughs> so he's going to fire another shot at you. Um, I think this time it's just a three, isn't it? Um. There we go. So I'm just going to take another shot at Michael's tank. We measured it before, so it's just going to be a three to hit. And get a three, so that's um, a hit. Okay, so I've got plus five. Yours is seven on the side, so two is a glance, three is a penetration. Three are penetrated. And I get a three. Okay, so put a plus one pin marker on. Here we go. So it's up to three. Uh, Okay, so that's plus one pin marker on the tank because it's on fire, then do a morale check for the vehicle. If the test is failed, the vehicle is knocked out, otherwise place a down order on the vehicle or change it to down order. Uh, and it cannot take um, further action of that go, and then you have to do a turret check. 10, it's out. No! So I'm just gonna put that there. Yeah, and then if you take a dice out of the bag, and then I'm going to do exactly the same with my machine guns on your uh, Strafbat squad, who have got pin already. So it's going to be long range, hard cover. So, oh no, they were within, weren't they? So it's just going to be hard cover, fives. So six shots, three hits. So that's another pin. And one dead. Very good. So that tank has just fired. Next dice. Ooh, next dice, red. Okay, so I need to be fairly careful here. I'm going to try and have a shot return fire at that medium machine gun team. Yeah, so your medium machine gun team at my medium machine gun team. 
and it's five dice, and you're in hard cover. Is it within 18? Yes. <coughs> over. It's over 18. <coughs> yeah, it's a long range as well then. So that should um, um, like sixes, isn't it? So long range, hard cover, yep. Yeah. Not nope. the sausage. Okay, next dice. Red. Um, well, I know okay, it's... so Michael's going to move his uh, shirkers, and they've got two dice, so that's going to be four die, uh, four under. So. Let's get them to do anything. Nope, they, they've no, not done anything. They've just gone down. However, there's a console within six, so, so he's going to shoot one. <laughs> And let, let's see if we can get a better result this time. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Nice try, though. <laughs> yeah. Help me do my job for me. Uh, red. Okay. Um, they're out in the open. They can't stay there and expect to survive much longer. So these guys are just going to charge out and charge in this direction. Yep. So you're going to go running along, are you? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to work out roughly how far we can get. All the vehicles had a push. I think that's actually perhaps I'd be better go. There are a couple of barriers here though, aren't Yeah, there? you so, can't run over barriers. Um, so so I let you have the wall where you are because you're right against it, so you're kind of just jumping on it. But And just, okay, if we just literally charge down to about here. Yeah. Um, there you go, so let's just run. Charge. Very Soviet of them. Next dice is. Once again, Soviets. Um, don't move, so I'm literally just going to move it 12. If we can get there. Or, yeah, well, the truck or? The truck, yeah. Uh, just. Oh, there you can't. Yeah, where it's well, so you can, you, you can do the move, can't you? you? just can't do the run. That's it. So if I just get down to there, and the, the, there it's may be trip. There may be trouble ahead with this. <laughs> okay. There you go, so that's just an advance with a pivot. And it's less than 50-50 me getting a, uh, another red dice, which I desperately need. Um, okay, so next dice is black. Okay, I am going to move my second tank over here. So I'm gonna do a pivot. And then if you could just measure nine inches forward for me. Okay. So I'm hoping Nine, yeah, it takes me to there. <coughs> there you go, and I am going to do... Oh. Let's have a look what I'm going to shoot at. Okay, so my tank is going to fire both medium machine guns at his um, truck, and because it's up on the railway, he doesn't get any cover, so it's just going to be movement, it isn't long range, so I'm just going to need fours with both medium machine guns. So that is five hits. Oh, that's as well, isn't it? It's just two nil. Okay. Just and then your them. troops have to decant, but they get some hits as well, don't they? That's it. Okay, so let's check how many uh, hits there are for the unit that are decanting. So it's a D6. Oh, and typical, I get six. So let's get six dice. And they're regulars. So threes will kill. So that's four dead. And I will take your NCO, please. So three dead and your NCO. There he is. And then one, two, three. Which is a different unit from that. So okay, so you can decant them, can't you? Do six inches away. Okay. Go. I might, they've got to go down now, but I might as well get them a bit further forward. <laughs> so D6. Six. Six. It's definitely not helpful, but it's not a complete loss. Just getting to the edge of the bridge. Real shame we can't fire with that sort of thing. Actually, and then they go down, don't they? Six. Okay, and then down. they go down. Yeah. <coughs> uh, and they also need some pins, don't they? Just like yeah. So they just need one pin for the hit on the truck. There you go, and then the truck's destroyed, isn't it? So if we get a destroyed marker on it, there we go. We know that's gone. <laughs> yeah. Next dice then, Mr. Ruski. Next dice is black. 
Yeah. Right, let's have a little play. What are we gonna do? Um, I am going to, what do I think? Right, my dice, I'm gonna get uh, Grey Wolf and he's gonna shout, you guys snap two, see if you can grab another dice. He's gonna run up the side, but the SDKF Z222 is going to advance nine inches because it's a tracked vehicle. So I have to keep to there. And then I'm gonna fire the um, auto cannon straight to those troops in the open. Okay, so they're within uh, short range. There's gonna be movement four, and that's it. So I get two shots, needing fours. Oh, I've got two sixes, not that that matters. So we've got one inch template. Uh, where's the template? Okay, so um, they are quite bunched together, but I think actually... It is a bit slopey there. Like yeah, I, I know you were gonna try and spread them out. So what I'm gonna do is two lots of four. Well, yeah, so it'll be four and four, if that's right with you. Yeah, okay. Okay, so they're regular. So because I'm using the one inch diameter HE, I get a plus one on my pen. So normally four, down to a three. So let's see. Eight dice needing threes. All but two. And I've got four sixes, so let's see if I can roll. Yeah, so I'll take your your NCO from there. Okay. So it's six dead and your NCO. And you get D2 pins. There's two pins as well. Is that more than half the unit? Yes. So they oh, are- Oh no, it's bang on. It's, sorry, was that six? Was it- the Okay, so what, they're regular, are they? So that's regular. Nine, two pins, and you've got an officer nearby. So it would be nine down to a seven, plus the officer, back up to an eight. Oh. 11, they've gone. Uh, we do have a commissar, but that's an order test though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and it's just fair an order test, isn't it? So, so they, they've gone, so you get another dice. Uh, Ouch. Unfortunately, I think you knew when you ran them into the open, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it was as, as soon as that tank <laughs> got shot there, it's like, bugger. Um, okay, next dice. Here we go. Red. It's not entirely helpful at the moment. Um, oh, I also forgot I was going to move um, the officer. Grey Wolf, yeah. So he's just doing an advance, but Grey Wolf is just going to run around the building to here. He's just moving up. Um. I might move this off this team here. It is a bit risky. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um. What we can do. I might see if I can get this this team here moving. And they count as if they've got one pin, um, but they've got an officer. Uh, actually, is the officer within six? He might not be. No, he's not within six, so they've got eight, but minus one for, for being shirkers. Is he so? Okay, so Michael's just put that unit on ambush because this has just worked out he's in hard cover, so actually that reduces his capability to run. Um, so he wouldn't be able to make it anyway. Okay, next dice. Two. Red. Um. So he's running out. Um, but I can only do about six, can't I? Well, no, because he's not in. He's in the building, so you can come back to work in the movement. Okay. Here we go. So I've got to get a bit of cover from this. Yeah, that's hard cover there. And so these guys can't fire. So. Okay, that's then done. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, next dice is red. Um, so don't forget you can put your truck down if you want, just to save some time where you can reverse it up, you do what you want. I think I might reverse it and then just turn it for a laugh. Uh -oh. yeah. Okay. Then it just one. pushes, doesn't it? But you don't have to always make a decision. Black. Right, right. so. 
I'm going to move my truck, I'm going to rotate it and it will basically stop here. That's just an advance. Okay, it's um, oh, interesting. Okay, I'm now within ident ID range, so I could yeah. potentially ID. The, the officer team in there is going to see if they can ID it. Um, so we've got... Just I think they want me to okay, so they're regular, they're going to take a morale check to recognise the Brandenburgers. And they do. Okay. Hang on a minute. And uh, I think what we, we do is just um, um, spray the truck with lead, basically. Okay. Here we go. And so point blank. Um, yeah. And I might just need, move them and neaten it up a bit so it looks proper. Yeah, you don't get penalty for that. And so four this, shots. This might be my only four shots. This four guy. shots <laughs> eating twos. Oh. Right. If I miss all these. <laughs> Oh, I missed half of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then six is to damage that truck. Yeah. Uh, which now I'm a bit more nervous about. I don't like those odds. Nope. Get off. Show but that. everyone gets a pin, which is quite good for you. Okay, so the two units inside have got a pin each, and the truck's got a pin. So, next time, let's do this. Black. Right. Well. I think I'm gonna to have to do something about that, aren't I? I've got to secure this bridge. So let's jump out a unit. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna jump out my flamethrower team and they're jumping here and they are going to fire. Are your troops there? Right, so there we go. My flamethrowers open fire on those troops there. So it's gonna be movement four, um, but I am within three inches, so it's just, Going to be yes that's point blank not long range so it's going to be back to three so let's see what i need oh i need a three let's see if i get it okay so needing a three. Oh, it's got to roll in four so d6 shots two so anything but a one so it's two dead roll the d6 again is your nco gone oh what the um Okay, so pins, D3 pins, one pin. And then do I run out of fuel? No, I don't. So now you've got the additional pin, you've got no NCO, and you have to do a morale check. Eight, so it's, um, it's it says here, two pins. Um, you killed one before, didn't you? So, yep. Um, and, um, but then there's how many D3 or D6 pins do they get? I just put an additional one on. It's D, D3 and a roll to two. Oh, okay. So it's just an additional pin. Um, but they'd already lost another guy, so I think there should be three. Yep, I think um, so. So it needs to go to three. But that counts as double, because they're... And they've got no NCO. That's it, so how, how many is it? Um, that's six, seven. So, so basically, they, with, with the officer there, they, they need snake eyes <laughs> to stay on the board. You never know. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> so close. <laughs> well, to be honest, I wasn't expecting them to stay on. Um, <clears throat> and that is another dice for me. <coughs> okay, next up is the guys in the back of the truck. And they're going to charge up to take the position you were just in. Okay, so these are my Brandenburgers. They passed their pin to move out. Uh, so both teams are fine moving up. Um, I've just moved to there and now I'm going to open fire on your opposite team here. Oh, just to let you know, that's the... Um, Commissar. Buzzer. Yeah, I'm still going to open fire on them. You do have an ambush team there if you want to fire at me. Yes, I will do... Whoa, just a minute. I can actually do some damage. <laughs> I don't think you could before because the flamethrower team was um, okay, well, covered by your team. Yeah, is it okay, ready? So I think that's six shots basically I've got there. Um, but you've got a degree of cover. Um, so is that hard cover? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. So, so why only six shots? Uh, oh no, I, I, um, half of them are unarmed. Oh, is that all right? Yeah, so it's um, six is I need. Um, here we go. Actually, they are at close range though. So it's minus two yeah. um, for hard cover, minus one for inexperience, and, but then plus one for, for being short range, so it's six. Here we go. Okay, I'll take a look at that. Two. Very good. And these uh, are veterans, so you need fives. Two sixes. 
Very good. So we take the lead. So the six again. <laughs> oh yeah. If, if... No, we don't. Um, yeah, so we take, you know. So I just, I choose. So there you go. So I just take two rough at the back. Um, unless one of them's a loader. Yes, that one I think is. Okay, so that ambushing team have gone to fire. That's put a pin on me, so that does help him out a bit, but I'm gonna fire. I've got the LMG, um, which is movement four, small team five, point blank. Are you going down? Um, I should do really, shouldn't I? But it's, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to, there's no church. Okay, so movement four, uh, pin five, small team, Six, going down sevens, point blank sixes, I think. Okay, so all of these troops here, there's 12 shots needing sevens, and then six shots from the um, light machine gun needing sixes. Okay, so sixes first. Two. Let's see if I kill. Yeah. Are they regular? They're not veteran, are they? Um, inexperienced. Oh, so they're, they're dead. They're dead, okay. Now that's a dice over. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> Their first game, and they done nailed. <laughs> except, uh, it's often the way, though. Isn't except it? for shot one of their own men. Good. <laughs> okay, next dice out the bag. That. There we go. Mm, good. Okay. So I'm just going to drive forward two inches, or pivot, and then do six inches forward, which brings me just to there. And then I'm going to open fire on your medium machine gun with my um, machine gun. So it's movement four, hardcover, sixes, point blank, fives. Okay, six shots needing fives. Uh, two hits. Uh, and then the regular. No, so it's just a pin. Okay, okay Germans, this time the troops Mm. Yeah, so I'm just going to disembark the troops and they're going to do advance order. Okay, so I've just advanced my troops out of the half track to there. Uh, these are the veterans, we, well not veterans, they've got the twin LMG, so I'm going to open fire on your strap mats in here. So it's going to be movement, um, four hardcover sixes, point blank fives. So let's work out how many shots. Um, but the LM, there's a couple of SMGs, which is one there. So that'd be movement three, hardcover five, point blank four. So the SMGs, one, two, and then I've got two LMGs and a rifle. Okay, so I've got three SMGs there, so that's six shots. It's going to be movement, which is three, hardcover, which is five, and then point blank, which is four. So six SMG shots. Uh, that is five hits. Let's roll for kills. Three kills. And then I have got the two LMGs, which will be movement four, hardcover six, point blank five. So let's get 12 dice and do the shot. Okay, so 12 shots needing fives. Three, four, five hits. So on top of the three, there's eight hits. So eight hits and these so one pin, eight hits, and I need threes, is it? Are they? Yeah. <laughs> so that is six dead. Yeah, six dead and a pin. Okay, then they fortunately. Mr. I've just got a brick to take here. <laughs> okay, so you need to check because you've lost half your unit. So you've got one pin. That counts as double and because they're strafe bats. But there is a, the officer's out of six. So current basically um, um, six or under to stay on the table. Ooh. Oh, 11, they're gone. Here we go. And that's another commis dice. Commissar's dead. So he can't shoot them to discourage them. There we go. I wouldn't want to be that MMG team. <laughs> no. 
Okay, so it's Germans again, so I'm just gonna do a fire order on these guys here. And I've got one LMG. So you're down, aren't you? So That's I, it, yep. There you go, so I'm just outside point blank. So it's gonna be, I haven't moved. You're in the open, but you are down. So it would normally be three, you're down fives. So I've got uh, needing fives. I've got an LMG, which is six shots. He's the loader. Then I've got a rifle, two rifles, six, seven, eight. And then the SMGs are gonna be long range, needing four and then down sixes. So let's do the four shots needing sixes first for the two SMGs, one hit. And now let's do the uh, LMGs. And okay, so five shots from the LMG and two rifles needing fives because he's down. Uh, three, so that's four hits. So you get another pin and then they're, what value are they? Are those inexperienced? Uh, regular. All right. They four. are. Yeah, so four dead. I've got two sixes. Yeah, so four dead. And that's okay. half the unit. So it's another pin. So it takes them up to two. Um, also they are, um, what's it called? Um, the guy for Fanatics. Those, fanatics. Oh, okay. That one's regular morale. Yeah, though, so it? they're Fanatics, so they stay on with two pins. Okay, here we go. Black. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I've got two in there. Um, I am going to advance my other half track. So he is just here. He's going to come up three inches, takes him to there, and he's going to pivot and do the rest of his move, which is six inches to there. And then he is going to open fire on your guys, your officer, your MVDK officers in there. So it's going to be movement four, small team five, half cover sevens, but you never know. So six dice, because there's a medium machine gun and German buzzsaw rules, needing sevens. One possible. Nope. Okay. Right, next dice. Um, here we go. And it's black again. Okay. Let's get the troops okay, out. Okay, so I've just ran the unit out of the half track along to there, just so that I can get closer. Yeah, I can get closer to my truck than he does. Otherwise I would have lost it. But there we go, so I can't shoot. I thought I was gonna get an easy dice there <laughs> without pulling a trigger. What have we got left then? Oh, you've got some troops here. Finally, um, I feel what else we got. So I can either. Here we go. Brum, brum. That's what it is. roughly, isn't it? Yeah. Let's push <laughs> literally like that. Okay. And um, then next dice is. Dum, 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 red. That's sort of helpful. Even if I move forward six, I'm not gonna be able to use that flamethrower. But I can move through these guys, can't I? You can do. Uh, so I'm just gonna literally go for broke. Uh, and you're running, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I suspect you're gonna to wanna to get that first move. <laughs> or actually, you've got two dice left. Yes, I have. Um, so, yeah. Are they both mine? That's it. Good, okay, so I have got my officer team here. And who else have I got? Okay, so two dice left. The medium machine gun's gonna fire his medium machine gun, just return fire as to before. So, uh, can you just measure the range for me? I can't remember if it's yep, outside of 18 or not. Sure it's about 15 and a half. No, nope, I'm wrong, it's 20. So it's gonna be long range for hardcover sixes. So six dice needing sixes. And of course I get one, that's a pin. And if it's regular, yep, that's they've, one they've, they've lost one there, guys. So that leaves one left, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. And then the other one is my officer team here. 
and they are going to move up to here and because it's not grey wolf I don't mind and they are going to open fire at your flamethrower so one of us has got wind either I'm going to kill you now or you're going to kill me so it's still movement it's still three um, it's then going to be point blank two small team threes so four shots needing threes so three hits one dead okay can you reach up so they get pinned but that's half the unit and you have to take a test Okay. So what are they regular? Regular. Yes. Um, so normally they'd be eight and uh, nine. Sorry, they got pinned. Takes them down to eight. eight. Officer back up to nine. So actually you pass. Okay. There we go. So it's still on the table. Wow. So that is end of turn two, I think, isn't it? Yes. Crikey. Um, yeah. That. There's been a lot of fighting for two rounds. <laughs> There's been a lot of... Here we go. Okay, turn three. It's all in it, all in it, all in it. I Who's going to get the first dice? I better Archie. get this red one first. Ah! Oh! Yeah! Okay, turn three. It's all in it, all in it, all in it. I Who's going to get the first dice? I better Archie. get this red one first. Ah! Oh! Yeah! And guess what I'm going to do? My machine gunner officer here is going to do with me. So he's going to go, you guys snap two. So if I can have another dice out, please. Okay. Right. That's so worst case scenario, isn't it? The officer here has taken out that dice for him to fire. He's going to get the tank to fire. And this troops here are going to fire. Do you have anything else left in that truck? No, it's... Uh... <coughs> okay, so let's start with them. So point blank makes it two. Small team makes it a three. So four dice needing threes. One hit, just needing a four. Actually, actually I, think it is, I think it is two, because they're at close range. Yeah, but you're small team. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Uh, so he's dead. No. So that's a dice out the bag, please. Okay. Here we go. Hello. Okay. Has Archie come to help or come to gloat? <laughs> Um, so the tank is going to do all 12 shots. Do I do that? No, he's going to do six, six shots at bear. So it is small team. So just out. So it's going to be small team, four hardcover sixes. Nothing. And then the other six shots into this team here. So that's just going to be threes. Uh, three hits. Two dead. And I roll that six again. Okay. Oh, yeah. got the leader. Yeah, I'll take the NCO. So two dead and the NCO. That's half the team. You're up to three pins, but you do have... You do have your NCO. Do you need to take a round check? Oh, it's... Um, oh, Fanatics, I don't So they're going to stay on. Okay, then I've got this team here. They are going to open fire on your troops there. So um, it's going to be small team. I'm not point blank. They're not behind cover, so it's just going to be fours. So I'll work out how many dice. Okay, so I've got two um, SMGs needed fives because these are small team and it's long range. All four hit. And then the LMG and rifles uh, just needing fours because they're a small team. So not quite so good, two hits there. So that is uh, six hits. And three hits unless they're veteran, but they're not their regular, are they? That's it. So, so they're, they're gone. gone. And that's another dice out the bag. Here we go. Thank you. <coughs> uh, oh yeah, okay, so it's next, and the tank shot, yeah. Tank, tank's done that. 
Um, uh, black, again. Well, actually, there's quite a lot of black dice in this. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so my half track's going to pivot and it's going to move the nine inches up to the bear. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot at bear. So it's going to be six shots, movement four, small team five, hardcover sevens. One possible. Nope. Next dice. Next dice is black. Okay, so let's have a look over here. Okay, so this unit here, we're gonna do a run order and assault your machine gun. Uh, so there's no barricade, and within six, you don't get to react. So it's basically... And there's only one there left. <laughs> yeah, so I've got one, two, three SMGs and four guys. Okay, so rolling the SMG, so you can roll again. So there's one kill. Let's see if that does a second one. Four, yeah, so you're dead and you did roll, but you didn't, yeah. didn't do anything to me. So I can reconsolidate D6 inches. Four inches, let's see where I end up. There we go, so I've just reconsolidated four inches to there. Next dice. Just you look. Okay, so Germans again, I'm just gonna advance him up to here. Okay, so I've just moved the SDK222 up and onto the bridge. I had an advanced double on the road, and now I am going to shoot at the officer there, and he isn't covered, I can see him quite. Okay, so he's within 24, it is a small team, so it's gonna be a movement four, small team five, and I get two shots. Okay, medium fives. <laughs> so I've got one hit, uh, that's gonna be, both of them are covered, so, it's going to be HE1 of the, what is he, regular? Oh, you should be a him, man. Yes. Yeah, um, regular, yeah. So, three, what is, okay, so D2 pins, three, so that's one extra pin, so he's been hit. Okay. And you've lost half your team, so you need to take a check. Oh, he's a, um, I paid the points for him to be a, what's it called, um, three points for a man, he's... Fanatic? Or? That's it, fanatic. Okay. So, do you just stick the pins on him? Okay. What okay, case? next dice is German again. What case do you tend to use? So Michael, I'm just going to run the flamethrower oh. team into here. In fact, let's see how far I could get. Six, six. I should be able to get to there. So where that bush is is where they are on a run order. There we go. Okay, now next dice, which I'm is... Okay, good. so it's black again, so I'm just going to uh, pivot this, and then I'm going to do nine inches. Three, nine, and then I'm going to shoot at... Okay, if you could just measure it. He's a small team, so it's going to be movement four, small team five, hardcover sevens. Don't worry, it's going to be six shots in the sevens. Uh, three sixes. Oh, no. Okay. He doesn't okay. want to die, does he? No, no. It's so... There can't be much left. Red, finally. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this this guy's preparing to die expensive. You know, I mean, it's the only thing I can do, isn't it? So He's got pins, though. Um, so you need to put back and roll your check, because now you've okay. moved and you're going to fail. Four and four. Oh, that's um, fine. Oh, he's okay. One pin, yeah, he's on it. Just, uh, so he's lost his pin. But he can, I'm just literally gonna move him up there. Um, is that a run, or is it a move? I think... Just, that's quite okay. a generous six. Oh, bugger. Okay, here we go, let's go there. I think I'm always tempted just to charge him. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna charge and see if I can get a win out of that. I, th I think Bear will try and go, you know, this is this is my last thing on okay. the table. Okay. So but I don't get reaction with fire because I've already been, and there's no barricade, but you have run over 12, so we go simultaneously. Okay. So you roll one dice. Here we go. Three. I roll That's two dice. Enough. Five. Okay, well, he dies gloriously. Yes. <laughs> so and that's another dice for me. <clears throat> yeah, I think that might be it. Right. Let's... Um, I don't think there's anything left. So let's just have a quick summary where we are and we'll be back shortly. You can collect go for those. 
Um, not that it matters. So at the end of the turn, both trucks will go. And then what we've said is, so this bridge here is held. I've got, um, I'm within three inches of the centre, but there's no one opposing, which is why I was surprised Michael just didn't stay there. So that's three points. I've got my flamethrower team on here. So that's another three points, that's six points. Plus two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven dice. So seventeen nil to the Germans. Crikey. And in three in three turns, so crikey. Um really fast game. I don't know if you want to have a quick chat about it, Michael, and we'll Yes, yeah. Um, the disaster that has been for the well, Rostov that has been for the Soviets. I mean it's um, all the German stuff worked out really well actually and particularly the Brandenburgers and I like having them on the table and um, but I think it all just went downhill from turn one having the tank yeah losing your tank in this position was very harsh I think you were too cautious with it maybe maybe I don't know you could have started it there and moved over maybe or tried to move over and pivot and get out of the way but yeah well, losing the road as well I mean yeah it's um, a bit bit rough but it's um and then having to get around the slow way, I think maybe we can abandon this side that's done. But um, yeah, I think Germans, um, um, powerful units, higher numbers, and it's, it's it's not like I was entrenched fighting them, so it's been a bit, bit a bit tough. But yeah, good game, great to get the figures on the table. Yeah, and I think it looks really nice. I think it was, it felt fast paced. It was like move, 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 and there's lots of shooting and fighting. Um, as we say, it was just a bit unfortunate for the Soviets because a couple of early knocks and it kind of put them out but i really enjoyed it i like the table uh it's good having the mats and as we say this is a a scenario that's been sent to us by uh, warlord games hope you enjoyed it please let us know in the comments um and then hopefully we can do some more sort of soviet eastern front games shortly so don't forget give us a a like comment share and subscribe and let us know your thoughts and if you want to see anything else but uh, see you again soon